Welcome to the TRSM Academic Success Center's Coaching Circle on Managing Test Anxiety. This video is part two of the Test and Memory Coaching Circle videos. In this video, we'll discuss what test anxiety is, what causes it, how to overcome test anxiety by dealing with thoughts, physical sensations, and emotions, where to get help, and finally, we'll make time to make a plan to overcome test anxiety. It's normal to feel a little nervous and stressed before a test. Just about everyone does. A little nervous anticipation can actually help you perform better on a test. But for some, the nervousness they feel before the test can be so strong that it interferes with their concentration and performance, both during the test and in the time preceding it. Test anxiety has the power to derail weeks and months of hard work. Anxiety has three elements, physical, mental, and emotional. When we're under stress, our bodies release a hormone called adrenaline, which prepares us for a perceived danger and makes us tense in anticipation. In small amounts, adrenaline can be helpful. A person can enjoy the benefit of a little tension while staying confident and relaxed before a test. However, sometimes tension can be persistent and extreme. Although adrenaline causes the physical symptoms of anxiety, such as sweating, heart pounding, and shallow breathing, test anxiety may have more severe symptoms such as the inability to concentrate, insomnia, fatigue, stomach issues, and headaches. The intensity of these sensations may vary from mild to severe. The mental element includes negative thoughts, including predictions of failure. Someone worrying about doing poorly might have thoughts like, what if I forget everything I know? Or what if the test is too hard? Focusing on these thoughts leaves little mental capacity for thinking about the test. People with test anxiety can also feel stressed out by their physical reaction. What if I throw up? Or, oh no, my hands are shaking. The emotional element of test anxiety occurs when thoughts and physical sensations combine. Test anxiety can be caused by any one of these factors. A history of poor testing outcomes makes the person anxious about the process to come, regardless of their level of preparation a general feeling of lack of control over the situation, feeling pressure pertaining to the test environment or fear of not finishing the test on time, feeling unprepared or having poor study skills, lacking understanding of the material, fear of failure for a variety of reasons, including placing high expectations on your own performance or because you may associate the grade as a reflection of your personal worth. Let's start first by listing all the reasons why tests may make us anxious using discovery statements. Discovery statements are a description of our attitudes, thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Some examples include, when test time gets closer, one thing I notice that I do is, or when it comes to taking tests, I have trouble, the night before a test, I usually feel, and so on. Now let's delve into various tips for managing our test anxiety. So what exactly can you do to prevent or minimize test anxiety? Here are some strategies to help. Make sure you're prepared. That means studying for the test early and effectively until you feel comfortable with the material. Don't wait until the night before. If you aren't sure how to study for a specific test, ask your professor or TA for help. Visit the Academic Success Center to attend a peer-assisted study group or tutoring session, or meet with one of our peer academic coaches being prepared will boost your confidence, which will help in lessening your test anxiety. Banish the negative thoughts. If you start to have anxious or defeated thoughts, such as I'm not good enough, or I didn't study hard enough, or I can't do this, push these thoughts away and replace them with empowering thoughts. I can do this. I know the material. And I studied hard. Believing in yourself can go far in helping to manage your stress level when taking a test. Get enough sleep. A good night's sleep will help you concentrate and remember. Pulling an all-nighter will make it harder to retrieve the information that you do know well. Get to class or the testing site early. Feeling rushed will only amp up your anxiety. Pack everything you need for the exam the night before and set an alarm so you can get out the door on time. Fuel up. Eat a nutritious meal before the test and pack smart snacks for ongoing energy. Look for foods that offer a steady stream of nutrients and protein rather than high levels of sugar or caffeine. Because the sugar or caffeine high may make it harder to concentrate and will inevitably result in a crash, neither of which are optimal while you're sitting and writing the exam. Take a deep breath. If you start feeling anxious while you're taking the test, breathe deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth. Work through each question or problem one at a time, taking a deep breath in between each one as needed. 
making sure you're giving your lungs plenty of oxygen can help you focus and create a sense of calm. Read the directions, questions, and options thoroughly before making a choice or starting to write. There's nothing worse than putting time into a question and realizing you're not solving for X or that the essay is off target. Slowing down can help you stay focused. Just start. The blank page can maximize your anxiety. After you've read the directions, dive right in by making an outline for an essay answer. Or find some questions you can ace to build up your confidence and build momentum. You can always go back and change things later if needed, but a few quick answers can get the ball rolling. Don't pay attention to what other people are doing. Everyone else is scribbling away. What do they know that you don't? It doesn't matter. Pay attention to your own test and pace. Forget about the other students in the room. Remember that no one gets a higher mark for finishing the test early. Avoid the perfectionist trap. We all make mistakes and that's okay. Knowing you've done your best and worked hard to gain the knowledge of the content is really all that matters. Having identified your feelings about tests, let's talk about how to overcome test anxiety by dealing with intrusive thoughts, physical sensations of anxiety, and your emotions. You may decide to combine strategies depending on what works best for you. These tips are pulled from the Becoming a Master Student textbook by Ellis, Toft, and Dawson, as well as tips compiled by our learning strategist. Let's start with the intrusive thoughts that contribute to test anxiety. When you notice your thoughts spinning out of control or become consumed with worry and fear, yell stop in your mind. Bring your focus back to the present moment. Dispute your thoughts and consider this. A four-year undergraduate degree requires an average of about 42 courses. That means that the final grade of one course is only 4% of your CGPA. Also consider that your final grade in any one of the courses is usually based on more than one test, meaning that a single test score won't make or break your post-secondary career. Visualize success in detail. Be specific and use all your senses. Focus your attention on a specific object, or listen to the surroundings like the scratching of pencils or shuffling seats. Don't leave any space in your mind for anxiety-related thoughts. Praise yourself, or give yourself some encouragement. Treat yourself as if you were your own best friend. What would you say to your best friend to ease their anxiety? Consider the worst, and take your fear to the limit of absurdity. After you stop laughing, you can backtrack to discover a reasonable level of concern. At that time, ask yourself, can I live with that? Most likely, the answer will be yes. However, if the answer is no, then use another technique. Here are some tips for dealing with the physical sensation of anxiety. Breathe. Focus your intention on your breath for two to five minutes. If you notice you're taking short, shallow breaths, begin by taking longer, deeper breaths by inflating your stomach as you inhale. Scan your body to reduce your tension. Tell your muscles to relax. You can do this in conjunction with the breathing exercise we've just discussed. Use guided imagery. Take a quick fantasy trip. Use all your senses. With practice, you can use this technique even while taking a test. Describe sensations and feel them through, because once you do, it'll quickly pass. Alternatively, simply be with it. A 2011 study found that those who spent 10 minutes before the test writing about their fears actually attained a better grade than those who just relaxed before the test. This was because the students who wrote about their fears and anxieties were able to get rid of them ahead of the test and were able to relax and better concentrate during the test. Exercise regularly during the days that you review for the test. See what effects this has in reducing body tension and its effect on your ability to focus and relax during the test. Reduce the amount of chemicals you put in your body, including caffeine. In the long run, they're ineffective in managing your anxiety. It's a temporary fix that has consequences beyond the dent in your wallet. As had been mentioned before, the emotional element of test anxiety occurs when thoughts and physical sensations combine. To deal with emotions, Accept them, whatever they are, because if you resist, they'll persist. By accepting what we're experiencing, we can stop seeing emotions as problems. Our emotions are just bundles of thoughts and physical sensations. Even the most unpleasant ones fade sooner or later. Another tactic is to make contact with the present moment. To cope, describe the following in your mind. Five things you can see, such as a clock, your pencil, eraser, student ID, and water bottle four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, 
and one thing you can taste, like the flavor of your chewing gum. If none of these techniques work and anxiety becomes serious, we would encourage you to reach out and get help. On campus, there are a variety of services and supports available to all students. If you require any type of accommodation in your exams, please contact the Ryerson Accommodation Support. Students eligible for academic accommodation support have singular or multiple disabilities such as learning disabilities, sensory impairments, acquired brain injuries, ADHD, and mental health, medical and mobility issues. The Ryerson Center for Student Development and Counseling offers both individual and group counseling to work on anxiety, stress, and more. All services offered by the CSDC are led by trained counselors and are confidential. The Medical Center is a nonprofit unit of student affairs that aims to promote a healthy environment for work and study by offering quality health services to current students, staff, and faculty. Off campus, there is the Good to Talk helpline. It's free and confidential, providing professional counseling, information, and referrals for mental health, addiction, and well-being to post-secondary students in Ontario 24-7, 365 days a year. All these resources are confidential and free to students. Now that we've reviewed some strategies for managing test anxiety, and anxiety in general, it's time to make a plan for yourself. Write at least three intention statements about how you plan to overcome your test anxiety, or at the very least, manage it. Consider what we discussed, dealing with your thoughts, dealing with physical sensation of anxiety, dealing with emotion, and if none of the above work, ask for help. What's your intention statement? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching the Academic Success Center's Coaching Circle on test anxiety and how to overcome it. Visit our channel for more Coaching Circle videos, course-related content, and more.